criticize, to build, and not to destroy. That is why we say we are in the service of God and country. This is the black <laughs> And I'm reading this from the graphic online. And this is uh, from the BBC. In fact, published by the BBC. And it says, how the Bank of Ghana lost 5 billion American dollars in one year. 5 billion American dollars in just one year. The Bank of Ghana. I read. Ghana once touted as a trailblazing African economic success story is facing an unprecedented financial crisis. And this is from the BBC. This week, hundreds of protesters took to the streets in the capital Accra, calling on the governor of the Bank of Ghana and his two deputies to resign over the loss of about 60 billion Ghanaian cities, an equivalent of $5.2 billion and $4.3 billion pounds in the 2022 financial year. The demonstration dubbed Occupy BOG was led by the Opposition National Democratic Congress and DC Party. The protesters, dressed in red shirts, scarves, and barrettes, chanted songs and held banners, some reading, Stop the looting, we are suffering. The opposition claims the bank printed money illegally to lend to the government, leading to the depreciation of the city and crippling inflation brought on to the people. It has also criticized the bank for spending more than $762,000 on domestic and foreign travel, an 87% increase on the previous year, and $250 million American dollars on a new office building. The opposition says these figures are recorded in an internal audit. The NDC has accused the central bank governor, Dr. N.S. Addison, of recklessness and mismanagement. And while the bank has been accused of mismanagement in the past, a loss of this magnitude is unprecedented. We have never seen anything like this in our history. If the Bank of Ghana wants to recover from this loss, it will take them more than 45 years, says economist Professor Gottfried Bobkin from the University of Ghana. The bank denies charges of mismanagement and says the losses were a result of a fluctuating exchange rate and because of non-payment of loans by state institutions. It also says the government's decision to borrow $700 million from it and not pay back in full has contributed to the crisis. The bank's governors have also been accused of fanning rampant inflation and economic hardship by their actions. The time when they were printing billions for the government, didn't they know that it would have repercussions? Ask lawyer Martin Pebu. My brother, my sister, I leave it here. So the arrogant doctor and as Addison says he will not resign. In fact, I wish that this guy would be uprooted by force. I wish that all these arrogant guys who have no respect for the average Ghanaian, my brother, my sister, would be taught a lesson in decency. Look at this guy. You lost over 5 billion American dollars in one year. What did you do with the money? You printed so much money, which you denied in public. My brother, my sister, even at the parliament level, you denied that you printed money. Yet the money was in circulation. And we saw new notes with new dates. My brother, my sister, yet these people denied it. Today, the Ghana city is the worst performer in the world. The dollar is almost hitting 12 Ghana cities in exchange. What have we done to you? Why? Do we deserve this? And this ungrateful son of the land, my brother, my sister, Ernest Addison, this incompetent homo sapiens, has the effrontery to tell us, oh, 
because the government borrowed and did not pay. That is why we are where we are right now. My brother, my sister, five billion American dollars and over in one year lost. And this arrogant guy still says he's not resigning because they take Ghanaians for fool. I wish there was a way the hooligans will march into that area, carry him in a palanquin, my brother, my sister, and make him dance naked. My brother, my sister, like the emperor with no clothes. These guys are so silly. It hurts me. How can you fail an examination and you are taught to repeat the class with such effrontery? You come and say, I'm not repeating any class. Such idiots, man. What the hell is happening to us, my brother? You go to school. You write the examination. You fail. You are asked to repeat the class. And with so much effrontery, I don't know where they get this arrogance from. They sit back and tell you, I am not resigning. Do whatever you want to do. You are hooligans. You are uncivilized. Even you with all your civility. This is how much pain you have brought to the average Ghanaian. Five billion American dollars. And this is the BBC reporting this. And as Addison, you would go down in history as the most wasteful and the most incompetent this country has ever had as a governor. You are a shame to the people of this country. You and your legacy of shamelessness will follow you to an early grave. Such dirty people in power. They have no respect, my brother, my sister, for the average Ghanaian. We are not diplomats, so we don't implore um, diplomacy. My brother, my sister, we go straight for the jugular vein. This is the black port. It's not a, cosme a cosmeticized show. Where, my brother, my sister, we put so much garnishing on people's foolishness. It's sad. Look at this guy. He says he's not resigning. Even though he is meeting to us so much pain, many are dying, galloping in filiation. The arrogant guy says he's not going anywhere. He has no time to receive petitions, but he has time to grant international media houses interviews. What a shame. My brother, shame on you. You are the worst governor the Bank of Ghana has ever had. And anybody who has ever named his son Addison or Ernest, it's time to change their names because of the shame brought onto that name. Hallelujah. Next thing, Yabo. I want Yabo. to look at and I want to be very quick with this. Akufu Ado having sleepless nights. Help yourselves too. Sonny Badu advises the youth. And this one is coming from my own 3news.com. I read. International award winning preacher and gospel singer Sonny Badu has admonished the youth to work in honesty and truth and not to put every blame on the current president. He expressed belief that President Nana Adodankwa Akufu Addo is not sleeping over the current difficulties in the country. Therefore, it behoves the youth to also deal honestly with one another. The founder and lead pastor of Rock Hill Church was speaking on TV3's New Day on Friday, that's today, the 6th of October, ahead of the launch of his Rhythms of Africa event. I said on the other show yesterday that I don't think the president is sleeping. He told host Kukuti, I think he's having sleepless nights with whatever that's going on. But let's also help ourselves. My brother, it's a shame that we are going through what we are going through right now. It's a shame, my brother, my sister, that whatever we are going through in this country, it's all because of the workings and the doings of this political party in power. I read somewhere today that Atik Mohammed, he's a political communicator, said that he foresees that the NPP would disintegrate into splinters before 2024. I thought the party has already disintegrated. Is disintegrated. Because of dishonesty, disloyalty, behavior, my brother, my sister, thievery, this party is where it is right now.
It's a shame on Nana Kufuado. Shame on all his appointees. You have destroyed your party. The party that some other people kept in place. All you can do is to send it into the grave. Thank you so much. Sonny Badu has, has advised the youth, be honest and be truthful. It's very important and that is true. But my brother, as it stands right now, the nation is in crisis. And we all need to come together to be able to deal with this situation. Politicians have let us down. Please, it is time for the youth to show patriotism. Nothing more. That's all the nation needs, patriotism. Well, my name is Black Rasta, and I want to say thank you so much, Eric. Mawena Agweta is already in the house, and I want to say thank you. Mawena, how are you doing today? Where is the microphone? Could you please? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Are you doing good today? Everything good with you, my brother? Yes, I am blessed and highly favored as always. Blessed and love. So what's in the news today? Uh, quite a number of things. Uh, Dainimo has been speaking. There's a new poll by Global.